Okay team, this is Melissa from Melissa vs. Vibromyalgia here and I am doing a quick catch up. Uh, things have been a little bit crazy around here so I realized that I haven't done a video in a while. Uh, in addition to the baby not really sleeping very well, my boys bought me home a gastro bug on the weekend so that took me right down. So I just wanted to say that if you get taken right down by being sick, you are not the only one. Uh, in addition to being sick, I just got such a fibro flare. I was in so much pain and so tired and I'm still quite fatigued and so I've had to put some self-care mechanisms in place this week. So I've been saying no to some things. Uh, I've been doing simple things like lying down when I feed the baby because lying down always makes me feel better when I'm fatigued. Uh, and there's just so much going on at the moment between the baby and all the things I'm doing um, for the blog and all these things. Uh, getting my life coaching uh, business going and getting my son, he's just about to start school uh, and he's having his fifth birthday party so there's just an enormous amount of things going on as well as all these bugs going around. So uh, one thing I recommend if you're starting to feel overwhelmed is plan. So I got my planner out this morning, I wrote down my four key things I needed to do. One of them was wade through all the dishes so that I could see my kitchen bench again. Uh, nothing feels better than ticking things off the list and then being able to see your kitchen bench so you can make a cup of tea. Uh, so I recommend just getting to the drawing board and planning what you need to do, but then also being okay with the fact that sometimes you can't tick everything off the list. And also include some self-care in the list. So those little things like I said about, you know, lying down when I feed the baby and then next time he has a nap, I'm going to have a lie down as well. I can't nap, but I can meditate, so I'm definitely going to do that. So all these little things just really help keep things going. Uh, so just remember all these uh, tips, these little tips, because the little things really do help. It is the daily things you do every day that make a difference in your life. Um, to that end, I am so excited. I've just, I'm in the middle of putting the finishing touches on my pain management plan micro course so it's kind of a in between so it'll take you from the fibro framework introduction to pain management then give you your own individual plan and help you make the plan and give you some tips of what to put in it so just little things to manage your pain every single day uh, but then also bigger options that you can look into and that's just that little step that kind of gets you from the beginning to the middle uh, and then at that point if you're ready that's when it's a good time to maybe work individually or in a group with me to really dig deep uh, and to make your plan to better wellness because I feel like uh, there's no point if there's a thousand things you haven't tried yet there's no point kind of coming in and starting to look at the big stuff um, because there are so many little things we can do every day to help ourselves it's one of the exciting things um, one of the silver linings about the fibromyalgia is that there are so many little things you can do. Uh, so let's chat again soon. Sorry that it's been so long. Let me know in the comments what's been going on for you. Come along and join the Melissa vs. Fibromyalgia Facebook groups. There I'm putting my, tip, uh, my tips every day. So things like I've been learning about eating more protein and so I'm just sharing that and I'm sharing my journey with how I'm going with essential oils now that I'm not pregnant anymore. Uh, so do come along and join. I look forward to talking to you again soon. Bye.